If you're an Android user, you could soon be earning free crypto by running a Theta Edge node on your device. That's right, on September 25th, Theta are scheduled to launch the Theta Edge node for Android devices. They're calling it one of the biggest leaps forward in Theta's history. The Theta team has implemented a video object detection AI model that runs on consumer-grade Android devices. VOD AI is used to label objects in a video, and in future that label could include the object's location in the frame, as well as a timestamp indicating when the object appeared in the video. And that technology can potentially be used for things like video object tracking, which I'm sure any video editors out there can agree with me. That would be an incredibly useful real-world application, both for casual users like content creators and media entities. So I'm actually pretty excited to see where that goes. Now, of course, just like with the desktop client, users running the EdgeNode mobile app will receive T-Fuel tokens as a reward for sharing the computational power of their device. If they're able to market it well, Theta have the potential to capture a huge market here, with over 3.9 billion Android devices in the world. And they also have plans to extend this technology to 150 million Android TVs in the near future. Although, as I talked about in my last video, marketing has been one of Theta's weaknesses lately. Despite the launch of their Edge Cloud network on the 1st of May, they've done very little marketing for it, meaning the growth of their user base has been very slow. They put out this tweet last week. Edge Cloud usage continues to grow with 100,000 images generated, 1,000 videos created, and 10,000 AI chats since May 1st launch. With new partners being onboarded now, we project significant growth in daily usage throughout the rest of 2024. Now, those figures might sound alright if you dress them up in a nice tweet, but when you actually break it down, what they're saying here is that since launch, their platform has only created 49 images per hour, 2 videos per hour, and 5 AI chats per hour. Which isn't great, whatever way you look at it. So Theta definitely have a lot of work to do when it comes to marketing Edge Cloud and forming new partnerships, because at the moment they've got this great new platform that nobody uses. This lack of marketing and even a lack of much social media presence is a bit surprising to me, because two of the core team members at Theta are the co-founder of YouTube and the co-founder of Twitch. Two people who you would think would understand the importance of not just paid advertising, but having a large and active presence on social media. Now, they do alright on Twitter and Medium, but when you look on other platforms like YouTube, which is the world's second largest search engine, they're barely anywhere to be seen. Ultimately, social media is the best free marketing you can get. And when there's so many projects out there that are doing it really well, if they're not handling it as well, then that puts them on the back foot a little bit compared to everyone else. And the thing is, it's not like it's hard to do. It wouldn't be hard for them to do, say, a weekly AMA or something on YouTube, or even a bi-weekly or monthly live stream, and they can cross-host that on Twitter, Twitch, Facebook, wherever. I personally think people would be really interested to see that. If, if I was on the marketing team, I'd be getting right on that. But back to the Android app, right. Imagine this. Theta announces the release of the Edgenode Android app. They start a paid ad campaign on Twitter that says something simple like, earn T-Fuel tokens from anywhere with your Android device, and they can have it linked up with a YouTube video that shows how it works and explains the Edge Cloud network. I guarantee you that ad campaign does well. There is no world where you can't sell the idea of free money to people. And how hard is that to do? It's not like they don't have the money to do it. They definitely do. Make me the marketing director at Theta, I'll do it myself. Kind of baffles me that they haven't already been advertising like that. I think if they had even three people dedicated to marketing and social media, they could be doing a better job than they currently are. But it seems pretty clear to me, at least up until now, that retail investors and everyday users aren't the main priority for them. And don't get me wrong, I understand the need to focus on partnerships and get bigger clients to use the Edge Cloud services, but that doesn't mean that they can't focus on both things at once. A delegate a team to handle partnerships and new clients, and a small team to handle marketing and social media and the mass user base of people actually powering the Edge Cloud network. So I'm hoping that should be something they're able to get on top of a little bit more with the release of this Android app. Because that's something that requires a big marketing for the whole idea to work out at all. If they do want to capture this potential market of 3.9 billion devices, they can't do that through partnerships and corporations. They need to be targeting retail, the people who will actually be downloading the app and spreading the word about it to power the network. 
which in turn will make it easier for them to secure partnerships if they can show that they have a growing active user base. Anyway, if you want to learn more about what Edge Cloud actually is, go ahead and check out this video. Or if you want the latest on T-Fuel, go ahead and check out this one. I've been me, you've been you, thanks for watching, and see you later.